Digilabs at Loughborough University are a range of new and emergent technologies all brought together in a number of hubs. We have Digilabs East, Digilabs Central and Digilabs West. And what they really do is allow us to remain at the forefront of innovation in teaching and learning and research for the future. Because the future of the next 40 or 50 years, it's unthinkable that it won't contain these technologies in every kind of professional role. I can't see a role that won't be touched by this world. So the Digilabs have already been used in teaching in a number of ways, from augmented reality to virtual reality, interactive AI-infused holographic reality. I've been using some of that myself. And I guess what's important to say at the outset is it's not confined to subjects that might traditionally use this kind of digital technology. So we're seeing virtual field trips in geography. They've gone zoomed straight out to the coast and they're able to fly around a coastal pathway in the coastal cliff face. Similarly, our engineering students are able to look at substructures in subterranean London. We've got our anatomage table and that's where students can really dive into the anatomy and again it affords them views and perspectives on various ailments and where they're located, how they might affect the body. Our biology students are now using VR in the classroom to locate cancer cells and break down those cells so they can understand how the cells move and how the cells operate and metastasize. And we've also, for instance, trialled our first holographic lecture where we invited experts from overseas and beamed them into the student experience. And again, that affords the students opportunities that would be out of reach were it not for this technology. All the indicators suggest that these technologies are already becoming increasingly commonplace and an expected part of the fabric of skills, knowledge and abilities that our students carry with them. And what it really does is augment. It's not possible to replace that valuable face-to-face. -face. What it does do is fundamentally open up new possibilities for that face-to-face, -face, particularly in the group-based, problem-based scenarios that our students will naturally face in their careers in the future. What I really want to see is adoption of the various technologies within Digilabs across our teaching and learning such that they become business as usual. But that doesn't mean they disappear and we get complacent and kind of just sit resting on our laurels. I think they offer the opportunity to continue to innovate and continue to be at the forefront of what is a future facing teaching and learning environment such that actually we can continue to be one of the best in the world around our student experience. So doing it here, doing it now and getting our students conversant with that world allows us to prepare them to be the leaders of the future.